good shop. Shall we take a look? Hey, you. Oh, you're the girl from yesterday. Have you remembered who I am yet? No, um, sorry, I haven't. Asahi, you're so heartless. And after all our fooling around, our knights too numerous in Torah to speak of here? Whoa, hey, I think that's something I'd remember pretty clearly if it actually happened. <laughs> Come on, why don't you just tell me who you are already? No way. Until you remember on your own, my lips are sealed. I want you to make sure you remember every last detail before the next time we meet, okay? If you don't, I'll cry. <laughs> all right, all right already. Next time we meet for sure, I promise. Wait, this means you remember what happened yesterday, doesn't it? <laughs> I remember everything. I even remember what you wrote when you graduated elementary school. You said your dream was to be a baseball player. You were supposed to be playing in the major leagues by now, I think. God, how do you remember that of all things? Even I've forgotten that. But that's beside the point. <laughs> My perfect memory is the reason I even remember yesterday. Because of course I do. Weird things are happening all around us, and nobody else seems to have noticed. Are you... a deluser then? Hmm? Oh no, nothing. Hey Asahi, do you want to know the real secret to men and women getting along with each other? Uh, what? There's just one? Sharing secrets. That's the secret. And you and me, Asahi, we're going to share a real deep secret right now. Wait, what? How, uh... How deep are we talking here? Hey now, I know what you're thinking, and you can just stop right there, bub. That is not what I'm talking about. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be, huh? But meeting here, talking like this, that's our little secret, okay? You can't tell another single soul a thing about it, got it? Promise me. You really shouldn't tease feisty young boys like that, you know? But yeah, that's fine, I promise. <laughs> Thanks. I wonder when we'll see each other next. Um, well... We'll do it just like this, right out of the blue. That way we both have something to look forward to. Though if today keeps repeating, we'll never be able to promise to see each other tomorrow. Pretty sucky world, huh? That's one way to put it. Anyway, I should be heading home now. See you later, Asahi. Make sure to remember you said you're going to make sure to remember me before we meet again. I'll try to remember all that. Bye-bye! She wants me to keep our meeting a secret? What an odd girl. But who in the world is she?
guy in a pink cape? I'm not saying this to sound cool or anything, but I actually just saw him. You did? Where? Hmm, it was either on the side streets or on Junk Street. I can't remember exactly, but I do remember his super eye-catching cape. That's why I saw him in the first place. Is there anything else you can tell me about him? Not really. Other than the cape, I didn't notice anything particular about him. Didn't even see his face. That figures. Sorry, I can't help more. No, I really appreciate the info you gave me, actually. Thank you. Yamato. And I thought you'd already gone back home. Huh? Asai? I thought the same of you. Didn't realize you were still in Akihabara. I live here. But anyway, I heard something that bugged me, so I decided to do some sleuthing. But what have you been up to? Between spying on Game Mars and staring at monitors, you've been kind of suspicious. And what are you doing now? Here to buy some trading cards or something? Not at all. Our paths just keep crossing. Nothing suspicious about that. Anyway, I'm out. Heading home for real this time. What are you two doing here? Asahi? Yamato? I thought you two both would have called it a day by now. Well, this is a surprise. Just running a few errands, really. At Game Mars and a card shop? Look, I already told you. You just happened to run into me when I was near those places. I wasn't shopping there. So a chance encounter then. And what about you, Asahi? It's not like you to be out and about when you don't have to be. Ouch. I heard about some sightings of the guy in the pink cape, so I've been chasing some leads. Whoa! Us too! That's right. It's too much of a mystery to resist, I suppose. Even if we did spend half our time eating cake at a cafe. I didn't know you went to cafes, Saki. What? Of course I do. Who doesn't? <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was an excellent use of our time, too. We heard a number of rumors about our pink man, and the cake was delicious. Oh? Spill, what'd you hear? Our only consistent piece of testimony seemed to be that he was tall. Tall? That's weird. I heard he was a little punk. That's the exact opposite! But what does it all mean? Hey, sorry to interrupt your little lovin', but we're done for the day, right? I'm going home. Hold your horses, cowboy. We're all back together and chasing leads anyway, so we might as well keep this momentum going. My, that's a surprisingly proactive thing for you to say, Asahi. I just can't shake this feeling that something bad's about to happen. And I keep thinking about Moe. You and Moe are pretty close, aren't you? Bully for you. I'm going home, though. Later. Hey, just wait for a minute. No, Asahi, we're done for today. We've already said that we'll pick this up in the morning, so let's just do that. Huh. That's a surprisingly non-proactive thing for you to say, Saki. Aren't you always pushing us to keep searching? I am, but it's been a long day. Get some rest, Yamato. Nice work today. Right back at ya. See ya.